Baby Beard Media. Shut up and take my podcast. 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 Stereotypes. The foreigner. The foreigner. My customs are different. Upwards inflections. Australian. Your beer belly is so big, your door doesn't even close, and that doesn't even make sense. That's the sentence ends well with I got advice from Nixon. We're a G rated. This is a property. Are we? Podcast. Trademark. License. Copyright. Don't say those words. Shut up. Shut up and take, take my, my podcast. podcast. <laughs> Ooh, very different tones. Yeah, best idea I've ever had. We'll Welcome everybody that. to Shut Up and Take My Podcast, that few tribal podcast where we look at everything from Bender to Zoidberg. Cat's hey. gonna jump on off a don't ledge. Do it, don't do it. <laughs> this is gonna be an entire podcast of stopping the cat from ruining the mixer. Yeah. At this point, well, you know, first of all, let's check in on everyone. How's everyone doing? I'm yeah, good. yeah. I'm good. Thank yeah. you, mate. Thank you. It's kind of a bit overcast today. It's very kind of dreary outside, and we we're past the winter solstice here, mate. Yeah, we mm. are, didn't we? we did. Yeah, shortest, shortest day of the year? Yeah, equal length is the solstice. Uh, happy yeah. Halloween for yeah, for us, technically. Is that what, isn't that what uh, the Americans Wait, what? technically... Isn't that what Americans technically celebrate Halloween for, being their winter solstice? Because we, we have it ours now, because we're on the opposite side of the... Uh, Halloween's in October. Yes. I'm thinking of the for equinox. Theirs. I'm thinking of the equinox, sorry. Right. It is the solstice is the shortest day, yeah. Yes, sorry, yes that bad. happened on last whatever, yeah. I don't know. Well, guys, we are looking at the season finale of season two. <gasps> oh, so that, that, this is so Halloween. They went out with a bang, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, once again, production order versus broadcast yeah, order. Yeah, yeah. So this is actually technically season three, episode three, if you're going by broadcast. Okay. But season two, episode 19, the cryonic woman what's mm. that a reference to uh the the crying woman the biological woman mm. yeah mm. the yep, yep. pathological woman <laughs> pathological <laughs> What does that even mean? <laughs> the Chronic Woman, the Bionic Woman, which is a 70s show? Yeah, like the yeah. Bionic Man. Or yeah. are they... Um, a $5 is, million dollar man? The, the, yeah, 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 yeah. She was like the counterpart to mm. that, right? Yeah. Steve Austin was the yeah. $5 million dollar man. Yeah. Yeah. Still trying to... Can, still anyone, can anyone do that sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> better than the transformer please, noise please record a better version of you doing that yes. with your, just with your voice and send I was going to say us. don't just send us the noise yeah, yeah. Do, do you have to do it with your voice and you have to send it to us director is Mark Irwin back from how Hermes requisitioned his groove back one of my personal okay. favourites yeah. so good episode, far good episode um, also he did the Simpsons episode Monty Can't Buy Me Love oh really right. so with okay, um, yeah. uh, Mr Burns and Arthur Fortune and so he goes to Scotland I love this I do love that episode so you know how Nessie is pink <laughs> yeah Yes. Wasn't meant to be. Nessie was meant to be green, and when they sent it to the animators overseas, they fucked it up. And by the time <laughs> they, they realised like, the problem, oh. they're like, it's too expensive to change. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just got to be pink. It would have been a lot easier these days because you could just like create the little bucket tool on the <laughs> 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 and, like green, but frame by frame, frame by frame, green, 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 green. It's <laughs> like solid yeah. understanding of how animation works, which exactly. is like you can just bucket. Green. Just, just, just bucket the green. Frame by frame. Green. Green. Just as an editor's note, bucket green. Yeah, bucket what, green. What, what? what the fuck's bucket green? It. <laughs> it's just completely flat. Yeah. <laughs> the writer was Jay Stewart Burns, who's back from the Deep South. And oh, that explains yeah. why I didn't like this episode very much. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. Yeah. So here's the best thing as well is that so Jay Stewart Burns was responsible for a TV show in the 90s called Unhappily Ever After. Kind of trades on the idea of just dysfunctional family a la married with children yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. now keep in mind this is a sitcom a situation comedy the main character is an alcoholic depressed schizophrenic oh my god okay. his wife is a promiscuous woman that has other character traits i'm sure <laughs> there's three sons one of which is apparently hated by everyone it's like real life family guy and the fact that he's schizophrenic is because he talks to like a bunny or something oh my like god. something that's and he's so the only one that can hear it <laughs> This like, sank without a trace, this show. I, I've, never four I've never heard four of it. I've never heard of it. Four seasons? Four oh seasons. God. It's like one of his claims to fame. It sounds like a fever dream, doesn't yeah. it? It sounds like a, a really heavy fever dream. drama. Yeah. It's like schizophrenia, depression, anxiety, and That's infidelity. Yeah. Just, everyone hates the child. It's like the Meg Griffin Yeah, I mean, effect. I feel like that's that's okay a bit later when we all got a bit more cynical after the noughties. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. I, mean? <laughs> I would love to see how they handle it, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. How do you 
yeah. handle depression and schizophrenia. Yeah, sure. Just uh, with laughs and gags. It's the sort of energy that that ninety sitcoms have just yeah. drained out with depression. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound like a good like good recipe for a show. No. We should watch it. We should, yeah. yeah. This will be our we, next we will podcast. Review it. Yeah, we'll <laughs> review it. Air date December third, two thousand. We're getting to the end before we hit the new year, and we're introducing a lot of people. So. Before I get to the... Uh, well, no, let's just go there first. Sarah Silverman. Sarah Silverman plays Michelle, who yep. will be yeah, which Fry's I, I took a squiz at your nights and I saw that and I was like, what? Because yeah. Sarah Silverman, when she appears in stuff, she's witty and sardonic and usually a bit unhinged because yeah, that's yeah. her style of comedy, mm. right? And that's what we like about her. And then in, She's not sweet. She's not kind no, of... No. no. And in this, she just plays a super normal kind of person who the whole idea of her is that... She is a fish out of water in contrast to Fry, who just sort of jumps into the pond of the future and is like, this is way better. And she's just a normal person who yeah. can't cope with how mm. abnormal things are. And you're like, what a waste for Sarah Silverman. Yeah. Every, every now and then you get, a, if you go back and watch the episode again, you hear We're not going to do that. We just never do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it right now. <laughs> Pause. Like she'll give lines that are a bit silverman Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like when uh, when he says, oh, I took your hole and there's nothing you can do about it. And it's kind of, she just <laughs> lowers her red. She's like, mm, okay. That kind yeah. of sassy kind of, just, that's the only way you can tell it's her. Otherwise mm. it's just kind of, could be almost anyone. Yeah. yeah. yeah that yeah, yeah. character could be anyone. Yeah. Really. And she has those like really stereotypical clingy girlfriend lines like we're gonna go home and have a we're gonna go back to our hole and have a long boring <laughs> conversation about our relationship you know it's not a very subversive no. character yeah I do like quit standing up for yourself Fry <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> Paulie Shaw Paulie yeah. Shaw yeah what's he from like, and Biodome Cino Man Biodome Biodome's he, the one I've seen he was a stand up comic from the I think the 80s yeah, as well as the 90s heard, like... he did a couple of films and Cino Man which was about out. Brendan Fraser, who plays a caveman, gets, I think, dethawed. And Paulie Shaw, who's this stoner character, is with him, basically. I watched one scene. It was unbearable. Okay. Paulie, Paulie Shaw is in that vein of kind of Carrot Top-esque yeah, comics. Of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's really wacky and stupid. Like, yeah, he developed yeah, yeah, a character yeah. called The Weasel, the Weasel in his stand-up and through Encino Man, who is his stoner character, which is where you get the buddy and that kind of... Yeah, yeah. Almost like a rat a rat he's, he's almost the ben, He's almost sort of the Ben Stiller before Ben Stiller. That kind of yeah. stupid comedy idiot characters. Yeah. He's still going now. I, really? Yeah, he's still doing gigs and such. Like He did a documentary a few years ago, which he directed himself. That's about himself. But it's, you know, he's 46. Is no, it, 46 now. He's, I'm sure I'm still popular. It's uh, Paulie Shaw is not dead or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Something like that. But it's the idea to just give people an insight in, into himself as a real stripped back person. You know, okay. the, the fact that uh, or people will keep coming to him and saying, oh, why aren't you in movies anymore? And he's like, well, A, you no know. wants I, me to be. <laughs> yeah. How, what am I meant to say? Like, Hollywood doesn't want me in movies yeah. anymore. And also, you can't really explain to fans. Fa- to fans, maybe I don't want to do movies. Maybe yeah. I like doing stand up. There was an intern who looked at working with him for a couple of weeks and he had a squiz at his um, itinerary over the next few weeks. And he's saying, you know, even though he's only doing stand up gigs in, you know, little places along the way, he's busy. I kind of envy him because he still commands like nine grand or yeah. 12 grand for a gig and he's, he's kind of busy. Name. But his comedy has always been known as being like really lowbrow. It that's, is, yeah. and that's the whole point. Of like when they bring him into the episode, that he's like sophisticated and and uses fancy phrasing and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and I love yeah. that it's actually him. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> actually, Paulie Shaw being himself. He kind of reminds me of. Have you ever listened to Joe Rogan do stand up? No, no, I haven't. Joe Rogan, who's the who is the host of Fear Factor, and he's now a commentator for the oh, UFC. Right. Oh, really? His stand up just seems to be yelling and profanities and complaining about things. Louis C.K., but not as good at all. Because <laughs> Louis C.K. can get away with it, but Joe Rogan's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> no one understands what you're complaining just, about. Just, any yeah. other introductions? Uh, we don't these? see any. He don't use his voice. I don't know why, because he would have done it. Weird Al Yankovic. He's in one of the cryo chambers when Fry's like, uh, nope. Uh, oh, nope. Right. Yeah, uh, before yeah, Paulie yeah. Shaw, which he would have been red hot during the 90s as well. Widow Yankovic in the massive glasses and curly hair. I feel like Widow Yankovic is probably like a more outlasting name than Paulie Shaw. There'll be kids today watching, if they saw a future but they wouldn't know who Paulie Shaw is. Oh, of course is. not. No, 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 like, no, no, when no, I was a kid, no. I only knew the name. I didn't know I'd where happen to he seen, was from. I happened to have seen Biodome, which is why. I how know. was it? 
Oh, I I was very young. <laughs> um, don't really. I was very it. drunk. Yeah. It's bad. I think. <laughs> I would probably say that. Yeah, it's one of those, it's not my style of comedy and never really has been even then. It was just like, oh, it's wacky. It's why I don't really like Ben Stiller or what's his, oh, who's, who am I thinking of? Uh, you're thinking of like Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson? No, or, no, no, no. Um, Will Ferrell? No, no, no. Ooh. Keeps miraculously making movies like Pixel. Oh, Vince Vaughn? No, no, no. Oh, no. Adam Kevin James. Adam Sandler. Adam right? Sandler. That <laughs> kind of style of... <laughs> Comedy. There's uh, lots of comedy there. Yeah. We're just like spitballing. Uh, Kevin James, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Rob Schneider, <laughs> James, David Spade. David That's David another Spade. one. How's he making yeah, stuff? Yeah. yeah, I don't know, but yeah, I, I, I kind of see uh, him as who did I just get to? And Sandler. Sandler as an evolution of that really yeah, bo- yeah. lowest common denominator comedy. Yeah, and I didn't like it then. I don't like it now. No. That's it. Uh, Adam, this is a bit of a tangent, but I think Adam Sandler. The thing I find really annoying now about him more than in the past, the, the comedy not being very good, is that he's clearly just not trying. Yeah, and it just really upsets me. Like you, I Pixels was on TV at Christmas, and I watched half of it. And he just, uh he just, uh around oh, yeah. the, the frames, right? He just isn't trying. Well, he said it himself. He's pretty much, I'm paraphrasing, but he said, I get given a lot of money to make the movies I want to make with my friends in yeah, it. Yeah, but then try. Yeah. Then, then try. bother. Yeah. Don't just but mope around the screen. Seen, like, we haven't seen, like, Sandy Wexler, though. Like, his, his new one, because, like... Is that meant to be good? Well, like, the weird thing is, okay, he's been doing, like, movies for, what, 10, 15 years now where he's not playing... A character is not like Billy Madison or like yeah yeah yeah. Where like well, all those characters are really similar. Yeah, but like, yeah. yeah, yeah. But like Sandy Wexler is like I am Sandy Wexler. He's like so. I'm like, is he trying now? Is yeah, he, is yeah. He, if if he's doing an act, if he's doing a voice he, and a character, is he try? Is he back to trying? I, I think he may have heard the kind of the feedback yeah, from, from the us. general public from us, <laughs> from us specifically. Yeah. I like you funny aren't trying, people. and everybody hates. It was too long. <laughs> funny. It was a very long film, but I at least appreciated that it was trying something different. Mm. And that's Water when Boys. I first started liking Seth Rogen too. Thought, oh, like I, he has a bit of stand up in that. I can cut all this out. It's fine. <laughs> um, he has stand up in in as in part of it because it's about comedians doing stuff. And Seth yeah. Rogen had this massive bit about famous people whipping out their dicks and touching dicks and then it, <laughs> and like made this big massive and he's getting all physical and I was like this is fucking ridiculous but why is it funny because <laughs> okay. he's committing to it yeah 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 for sure and Eric Banner is funny yeah, he's funny he kind of plays Banner. straight man but he's like yeah he's like Australian like a super Australian you know? yeah, yeah. yeah 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 so who what are we talking about why are we here who wants to run down the plot Fry, Bender and Leela get fired they get new jobs chips get mixed up Fry's in charge of the cryo Tubes? Would you call them cryo yeah, tubes? He's a cry- yeah, cryo cry- tube cryo counselor. He's a cryonic counselor. Cryonic yeah. counselor. He opens one one or one opens one day. Happens to be his ex girlfriend, and I guess he tries to. They try to have a relationship. Yeah, they try. It they, 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 they try it again. Doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't really yeah. work out. Yeah, goes to the year four thousand. Realizes it's not the year four thousand. <laughs> it's just L A. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The but, end. but there's smog everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, in a social commentary. commentary. I feel like I'm gonna be. I'm gonna feel a lot better once I say these words. What did we think, guys? Oh, such a bad episode. Yeah, it's, not great. <laughs> it's my least favourite one in such a long time. Well, it's since The Deep South. I just didn't like this. It did, what, I didn't find it very funny. I was, I was there. I didn't find yeah. it very entertaining. I was kind of waiting for it to be over. And I'm sitting there watching it last night thinking, I'm not enjoying this. If the others enjoy this, what's wrong with me? Yeah, no. Like, like is, is, is this just me? There's, there's like little pieces I there's like. There's, yeah. there's, there's, there always is in future. There's moment. like little bits of like Zoidberg humour and like Bender humour. Zoidberg has a field day in this yeah, episode. Yeah, I like, love it. But yeah. it's like the general story is... Uh, a bit or, or yeah. and then the ending yeah. is just doesn't yeah. work at all. But just touch on Zoibo <laughs> quickly. So are we saying the hierarchy of the Planet Express crew <laughs> is Bender is the most popular? Bender. It goes Bender, Bender. then her Leela or Fry first? Uh, Leela. So be Bender. People kind of dump on uh, Leela, yeah. though. I don't know. Maybe yeah. it's so much Bender, Bender, Fry, Fry Leela, Leela, and then Zoidberg. And then Zoidberg. <laughs> Zoidberg. <laughs> Once those three are gone, everyone wants to talk to I Zoidberg. Kind of know, like, does that oh, mean... Oh, you know. Because <laughs> like, like, we 
had this like the, the new team would have been like who's delivering um, um, parcels around the place. They went to the Pleasure Planet, so yeah. Zoid, Fantasy Planet, yeah, Fantasy. That's right. So, so it's Zoidberg, Hermes, and Amy. Who's the pilot? Who, who goes into what role? And like, I would have like, reckon. So I'd say I reckon Amy's, Amy's the flying pilot. the ship. Yeah, because uh, she yeah. she's she's got the bungalow. She's had experience. Um, she works on a planet where she probably has to move tractors. You've she's, seen her. She has proficiency on the hoverboard. Yes, she used to come from Mars. If you remember, she's klutz. <laughs> <laughs> she's complete klutz. But if you've seen Zoidberg, remember when he drove the car? And he's like vroom vroom. <laughs> I don't want that guy driving the ship. <laughs> but I kind of. Farnsworth, like, there's no way yeah, he gives Zoidberg. He, how does he hold key on? To it. It's because like when they all left, and it's like oh, let's give Zoidberg the attention. Maybe, Maybe he, they made him the pilot. He's so popular, he can pilot it. <laughs> I kind of. I'd like to see him the, as the pilot or the cook. I'll allow him to and, be. A, a yeah, good he's cook. the cook. Yeah. Okay. He takes Bender's role, which nah, means we said with, with Fry. Yeah, I would have liked to see Amy pilot the ship just for the fact that she's always bumping into things and yeah, falling down. Yeah. I would love to see that episode. Yeah, I was thinking that, that yeah, yeah, yeah. on an adventure. I just want to see those three interact in an episode. Mm. Yeah, and having and like playing on the tropes of like how the original three would solve things. Yeah, yeah. instead they do it. But I think that'd be very efficient because I think about like if like Amy like could like land there pretty proficiently, Hermes would get out, he'd make all these checks to make sure <laughs> everything was perfectly right. And then Zoeberg <laughs> would have to guard the ship because he's not allowed to yeah, interact with guard, anyone. Like, he'd, he'd be guarding, he'd be making um, um, like lunch with his little claws it'd be great yeah yeah. yeah. But while we're on Zoidberg we discover what Zoidberg's ultimate fantasy is <laughs> to be the a grandmother, grandmother. <laughs> because you Subjugated but honored, but honest. <laughs> subjugated yet honored. <laughs> and then he's in, he, sp- he spends the rest of the episode in, in a pinafore serving tea. That's yeah. right. <laughs> there living, you go, dear. He's living out his fantasy. It's so yeah. Lovely. Also, another thing's answered for me is that I have another theory about where the poplars' money went. If they did get paid for it, it went to fixing the. The, the whole, whole building. The whole damn building. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Just sort of, when they cut back to it at one point, they're just sort of pasting it back together. Yeah. Just sort of glue <laughs> and stuff on the outside. Yeah, that's a weird little visual sequence, isn't it? When, they, when they're when they being dragged around. Dragged and, around yeah, and they, and they knock over the Leeling Tower of Pisa and to wrapped around the that archway. That's yeah, I can't. A famous I, landmark yeah. in some American They go city. to the Golden Gate Bridge. Golden Gate Bridge. The Great Wall of China. Yeah, and the Mongols. <laughs> <laughs> as as that's, that's a, a good gag. Wall. I'll give them that. <laughs> so, yeah, there's still there's still like you know 14th century yeah. Mongols with I like bows the and leading Tower of Pisa it's like their entire identity is tied to that yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. you've ruined it oh no it's good now okay I'm dead yeah. <laughs> yeah, so also they're murderers now still. yes yeah. yeah again unbreakable diamond fili- um, filament back so, the tether yeah, yeah back the from, te- back the, from the deep south same, same writer same. yeah it's he, just, he, the same he shtick he loves that as like a little like oh we can use that that's great yeah, yeah people love that okay what I did enjoy about this episode and I'm going to get to the stuff we enjoy first. Is it Og, there's, The there's... Gorilla Emperor? Oh, okay, well, yes, that's, a, <laughs> that's another one. And just down to the little kind of bits of information, like Bender takes Og off and he's got it down yeah. by his hip. Farnsworth looks away and then when he turns back and says, so Og, as you can see, but Farnsworth is looking eye. down yeah. at the mask and he's directing it to his hip. <laughs> Did yeah. not notice that. But it's like, yeah, Bender had like some good costumes where he's like the ghost, um, he's the giant fly. I don't know, like, I like those little bits. It, had, it, had a, it, had, it, had, it gave a bit more interest. That's where I wanted the episode to go, to explore the idea of how Fry and Leela work at the opposite jobs. Mm. I wanted to see more of Leela as the pizza delivery yeah. um, person. Maybe like this is a job that Fry is really good at, and this is a job that Leela, for all her and they perfectionist learn to appreciate attitudes... appreciate each other's roles a bit yeah. better. Yeah, yeah, that would have been a better core instead of like, girl, for, you shouldn't date your ex. I it's think the kind of yeah. the core of the episode, right? And I think it's like realising that like, I mean like the one where it's like recognising when your girlfriend's kind of using you or being controlling. Mm. I guess that's kind of important. Yeah. But this is the first time we're kind of introduced properly to anything from Fry's past. Like, mm. this is the first time we're bringing Fry's past life in, and it's just not a strong way to introduce that sort of aspect. We went to, yeah, we, we have Pacini's later. We have Pacini's, don't we, in an early episode, but we already know about Pacini's, right? Yeah. And it's like already in the first episode. Jurassic Bark, for example, which will come later, yeah. is a good way to bring that in, whereas just Michelle's not really a great character as not. She's there as a foil to show that Fry really belongs in the year 3000. Yeah. yeah. And I like that as a comment. I like the yes. fact that he sucked back then, which is why he fits in so well here, because that he's just 
different. He's yeah. completely different. Yeah, I mean, he has everything here. A low-paying job, yeah. a, ro- <laughs> a room in a ro- bed in a robot's closet, uh, he's been some now. friends. <laughs> some of the things Fry says just isn't very Fry-like. Like, I get the joke and I laugh, but when he says, um, when he, uh, I don't Fry, regret this. Yeah, I don't regret this, I but I both... and lo- lament it. Rue and lament it. Like, you... That's Where's not, your thesaurus? Yeah. You would not say that. It's not fry vocabulary, is it? I mean, it's, it's a, a funny non- joke. Yes. But yeah. It's got some funny lines, and those are the things that we, I guess, we can go through in this section. I liked it in the year three thousand when everybody ate lasers. Yeah. <laughs> and, and brains free. Brain, brains, brains fly, fly through space, space and which, everybody which ate lasers. Which doesn't? Yeah, it's foreshadowing. Yeah. Because he he meets the brains yeah. later. Yeah. Uh, with he Nibbler. Does, yeah. So I was like, is it because you've written that episode and you just <laughs> didn't realize, or how? It, oh, they knew when Fry finally freezes his first person and he says oh so why did you uh, come to the year 3000 and he says well I wanted to meet Shakespeare and I figured that time was cyclical and he's like nope straight line <laughs> <laughs> or they just like they start using a guy who like he obviously has the heart attack and they start using him as a freezer <laughs> <laughs> start just chucking like cold drinks in there I like that I would have hated this joke if he didn't add the little bit in the end but when he says um, it's like skateboarding except half the time someone dies and Fry goes Oh, so it's a little safer than skateboarding. There's a pause. And he just has a little <laughs> grin. Yeah, a little like, like a little that was knowing. funny, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you cheeky shit. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, that joke on its own is like, oh. oh. Yeah, it's bad. Right? But it's the fact that it, Fry it's like, thinks it's he's like, being really yeah. clever. Or it's like, it's like <laughs> winking to us, being like, yeah. 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 It's, it's joke, bad. Funny bad, joke. Bad. It's, they're looking at all the job chips when they decide to go to the cryonics guy and ask for Leela's old job. <laughs> and they show, they do Fry and Leela's chips and they Penda, Penda has an arm, yeah. just a random arm, <laughs> like and it's the Prime Minister of Norway. Norway. Did he kill the Prime Minister of Norway? <laughs> He's just got his arm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna guess. Maybe he died. He became a head in a jar, and then he just just kind like, of can I use your arm? Yeah, I mean, like, like, well, I'm not body. using if it. If you're a head in the jar, you don't need a body. So. I, I like that the job finding software is so sophisticated. It can tell you that you're going to be the Prime Minister of a specific <laughs> country. <laughs> the later DVD versions of this episode, they've taken out the Prime Minister of Norway really? because oh, right. in 2011 there was uh, some bad Norway attacks. I think there's like a big. It was like a terrorist attack or something that occurred there. Are you talking about Anders Breivik? Potentially. Yeah. It was in 2011, then yes. And so they replaced it. Instead of saying Prime Minister of Norway, it says Chainsaw Juggler. Okay, right. <laughs> that makes works. sense because yeah. it's a disembodied arm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 that's good. That's good. That's a good change. And and like he doesn't reference it in the dialogue, right? It's just yeah. no, literally so it's it's yeah. a visual. It says, welcome aboard, sir. Yeah. So. <laughs> Bender gets his end away with the probulator. Yeah, I like that. That yeah. was a nice touch. <laughs> that probulator really knows how to please a man. Yeah, I, that, that's what I I kind of want. I just want them hanging out at the um the yeah. cryo facility. Bender to... just for some reason got hired. So yeah. essentially, they hired the prime minister of Norway. Bender's yeah, having a great time, right? you know. Yeah. <laughs> Bender's having yeah, he having a ball. Mm. And even like Fry's actually you know semi good at the job. Yeah, because he's, he's like say, say welcome to the world of tomorrow. He's like I know what people want to hear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Bathrooms that way. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> just just runs, <laughs> which oh. is like the same as the Austin Powers joke, right? Yeah, it's the same, yeah, same yeah. Joke. Also, there's a bit where they've just lost their jobs and Leela Bendis tries to beg for money and with his line head. is we're not veterans <laughs> yeah we don't need to beg <laughs> they are they were they, they just fought in a space war, war. Yeah, they just fought true. in a space war that's great yeah yeah like two episodes ago <laughs> <laughs> Continuity, yeah. continuity. Yeah. Ruth, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I remember you were mentioning yeah, this. Yeah, I was like, she's still around. She's so still like on the. Um... She became the associate justice of a Supreme Court in 1993. She's still she's there, still there yeah. now. Yeah. That's her For job sure. title. Yeah. I'm like, that, that's a reference that still works. <laughs> yeah, no, it totally does. Yeah. I got, totally got that joke. That's a 24 hour. That's 24 year reference. <laughs> 24 hours. 24 hour week. reference. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to mention, yeah. for no reason, Leela hits. Bender with, with, a, a with, a, with a rotary phone. <laughs> Where did she get it? She why don't, did she why, have it? Why does why does it still exist? She just needs to hit him with something, and it's a rotary phone. Yeah. She hits him. Uh, that tickled me. Okay, yeah. moving on to the bad um, stuff. Yeah, I got things I didn't like. Uh, oh, Everything say, in the last third of the, the episode. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> from, say. from the introduction of Michelle, and more to the yeah. point, when yeah. they go into the year. 4,000. Yeah. It just loses all steam and I don't care. No. Felt like it ticked along a lot smoother when we were just focusing on applied cryogenics. Yeah. And yeah. It sort of works okay. That's what it says on the front door. They could have. It sort of works okay. <laughs> it seems to work okay. It seems to work okay. <laughs> they could have yeah, yeah. still done the, um, like the Michelle 
storyline just in the year 3000. I, as soon as it goes to the year 4000, in quotation yeah. marks, it's just going to be a little, uh, and it's, oh yeah, you got your kids I, and they're, they're, the little, they're the bandits. And like, I they're think, also really hit and miss on relationship stuff. Sometimes it works really yeah. well and they have yeah. good comment on how relationships work. And then sometimes it just, it's, it's all cliches, it falls really flat. Mm. And I just, it's, it's too cliche, this story of the overbearing girlfriend yeah. who like will make you change yourself to fit her image of what you're supposed to be. And, yeah. and you know how it's going to go as soon as she's yeah. introduced. You know that it's not going to work out. He, the only photo he has of her is her being with a ski instructor. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 And you know, all oh, right, this is, as soon as she comes back, it's going to be a thing where he thinks he loves her, but actually she she goes, she's not really into but it. Even like little things him. like, um, I... yeah, so I just don't, I don't, don't think that their handling of relationship no. stuff in this episode is clever or insightful yeah. and Even Brian and Michelle don't no there's chemistry. not enough chemistry between them to yeah. have them by themselves for that long and for yeah, it to be engaging yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, they just harp on the idea that she doesn't she's afraid of the bugs mm. they, she's freaked out by cups that repair themselves she's freaked out by Zoidberg and you're like we get it okay yeah. she, she doesn't like the future and her personality switches way too quickly between loving girlfriend and oh I hate you I'm gonna say like there's no smooth transition no, yeah no. and she but, doesn't swap and then never go back she keeps changing between both of these episodes that he's written deep south and this one feature a female like a a girlfriend for fry who is puddle deep in terms of characterization both episodes just this writer does not know how to write relationship stuff or women really or even i would say just like little things are like the structuring of a scene where it's like oh michelle comes out the um the cryo chamber and then ben is like reaches into the wallet then brings out the wallet and be like (gasps) <gasps> oh my god it's like why did we need that gag of Bender reaching into the fry's pocket to bring out the wallet to look at the photo so then we would as an audience would recognise that it's her we and get just, just have a gag it's like we've seen that before we should be we trusted should, we, 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 yeah we should really trust, be trusted or no you should have found a better way that so you wouldn't or, have to pull back to that that yeah. gag from earlier and put it later yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah. just something because I was like it just felt so out of nowhere for Bender to reach in and be like, oh, he, he either, Bender would have either remembered he saw the photo or, I don't know, it just, it was frustrating. It was yeah, a tiny yeah. little, tiny little thing. And also, like, why are you doing it? You kind of, it's, it would have been interesting to see how much of the audience would have gotten it had they not referenced Michelle up until then because she is in the pilot episode. She breaks up with him in the opening oh, really? 10 yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah. She goes past and says, you know, it's not working out. Yeah. Similar to what mm-hmm. happens in this episode. She says, I've left your stuff on the sidewalk. Like, yeah. We get introduced and it's not even, it's not Sarah Silverman that does that. It's uh, oh, okay. Katie Susie who did Cubit Farnsworth. Oh, right, and after okay, the pilot yeah, episode, yeah, they yeah. got Sarah in for this one. I don't know. It's weird coming from this writer because he's going to later do Roswell that ends well. Is that, is that a really good one? <laughs> yeah, that's um, yeah. Uh, when he does the nasty and the pasty. Okay, I still don't remember mm. it. <laughs> Sorry. When it's been he too long. Has, it's been uh, too when long. he becomes his own grandpa. Okay, right, sure. It's yeah. ringing a bell now. <laughs> yeah. So you're telling me in that episode, Fry gets a girlfriend. And then, like, it's, it's the same story. Yeah. Same I mean, story, just rehashed. But <laughs> this time it works. <laughs> okay. Third time's a charm. Yeah. You know? They got there eventually. And then they do a silly anti-continuity gag at the end where they drop him out of a yeah. trap door in the spaceship. It's kind of similar to how almost how um, war is the H word ends, where they almost insinuate that he does blow up. Because remember, they only added in yeah, yeah, uh, Bender at the end sound. saying, I'm okay. So originally the ending was going to be, did they they're just blow dead. up the world? Mm. And they're like doing, so they're, they're sort of trying out non-continuity stuff on purpose. Yeah. yeah. But at least like when Bender blowing up, it's like, that was like a consequence. Like they're still trying to like, they're trying to fix Bender. Pulling a lever and making Fry drop out of the ship doesn't make any sense. It's like a Looney Tunes gag. It's so Looney Tunes. Yeah. Isn't it? I, I, I was watching. He's it, got like, a lever yeah, for a trap. As soon as I saw the scene, I, like my eye just looks at the lever, and I'm like, okay, so he gets pulled down. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why <laughs> does this happen? Like, <laughs> does it make any sense whatsoever? And then I get the gag, but still, you just hide Bender and Leela as well. Yeah. It's so much more of like a Simpsons gag, though, right? Where he has the trap door for yeah, everyone. Yeah, that's Burn, Burn, Mr. Burns thing, everyone. you know? Like, yeah. Oh no, it didn't work. Also, another thing that I don't think worked very well. Um, because we didn't get a lot of um, Leela working at the, at the pizza place, no. which kind of sucked. I really like her uniform, I, 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 I though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> really like her uniform. The pizza hat. Just, just <laughs> Dane emanating through her body. Um, oh, and the animated pizza box. Yeah, uh, that's it's what it's $35. Dollars. <laughs> I did not like the pizza. You didn't you like the animated pizza. No. Yeah, I just, like it kind of just, it didn't go anywhere. I well, because I like Fry's smugness where he's like, eh, I th- you know, I think I can take the box. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. But then he's like, oh, I still owe $30 on the shirt. It's 35 And I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess. Let's see 
more of her tribulations trying to be a delivery. Yeah. Let's and use it to inform Fry and Leela's relationship. I don't think we learn enough about our characters in this. Like no, we don't no, learn no. anything about Fry other than he's not good at picking who's good for him in a relationship. Yeah, yeah. But we know that already. But it's this frustrating. We learn like, nothing, which is why, and, and that's the same with Deep Sand. It's just introducing his past. Yeah, and yeah. not in a good way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I yeah. Mean, how did Leela get a pizza job? She could be a delivery boy for any job because it's uh, it's the exact. I, I, same I, I know it's the exact play, but the, because we don't explore it, it's just like no. oh, she's a pizza person delivery, and okay. she has to come in and yeah. deliver a pizza oh, to I see we now. Maybe, maybe, oh, maybe do you she, remember the first yeah. episode? Did you first watch the first episode? episode? Oh, oh. So maybe she goes and she keeps trying to apply for jobs, but she's too overqualified because she's too efficient. The only place that'll take her is just the shittest yeah, pizza, pizza hole place, yeah. owned by the same guy that did the poplars. Fishy Joe, Fishy whatever Joe's. his name is. Uh, who's the character who who smokes? He's like a he smokes cigarettes. Oh, Sal. Fa- Sal. Sal. Yeah. Yeah. Sal is a piece of modern art. Yeah. He's on loan from the Louvre. <laughs> I'm on loan from the Louvre. No weird lisp in this one. I love that <laughs> the, It's the museum of really modern art. Really modern. Yeah. No, it's people aren't interested in art unless it's tattooed on the bodies of fat people. Yeah, yeah. which I could believe. Uh, I could believe that's a thing. It'll, <laughs> in it'll the future, because yeah. that's what the future should be. The future should be completely unrecognizable. Because just yeah. think about how much things change in a thousand years. Oh, yeah, like thousand years. I think of things like, will we actually have keys, or will the or with a oh, way that's, that you... yeah, that's kind of a fun visual joke. The keys are like literally just a pair of car keys. Isn't yeah, it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, actually, art is on fat people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the tension in future armor. A lot of the time, it's like everything's weird, but everything's it's kind of the yeah. Same. Then yeah. that's them. It's like nothing's actually changed. Yeah, I mean that that that's kind of the idea of what the end where they're dumping on LA, where they're like everybody's driving around shooting at each other. It's yeah. like yeah, it's LA. Yeah. <laughs> Notice, guys, these cars have wheels. The wheel does exist. Yeah, uh, he has a skateboard with wheels yep. as mm. well. Butcher's mum drives up in like a, a soccer mum car, yeah, but SUV, it has yeah. has the wheels. So. Yeah, so um, they just forget in. Mum to say the w- they just forget what a wheel is yeah, yeah. <laughs> in 24 maybe, hours maybe it's just a new new york thing yeah they maybe, just don't yeah. have wheels there they have wheels in la yeah like i was saying because we were talking about um i guess what the writer likes to do with i guess with women characters before oh let's bring in a certain city let's talk about that and do some commentary about that and let's also bring a kind of obscure person from history because we had what well, Shaw in this one and in the atlanta who was that singer so was oh, Donovan. 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 It's like, okay, yeah, okay. We need we need a girl with no character. We need a city. We need a, someone from history. I yeah, it's yeah. the same element, isn't yeah. it? It's like the the South Park uh, the South Park episode where they have uh, the writers of Family Guy, which are just manatee <laughs> pulling words out from the yeah, bottom basically. randomly, and that's what generates yeah. a gag. It's a Lo- location, place, celebrity, person, <laughs> and the Unbreakable Diamond filament. Yeah, and, yeah, it's, yeah. Every, it's the same yeah. thing. It's the same I just, show, watched the, right? I just watched the same episode. They missed a Futurama trick. I don't think it should have been L.A. because they rag on it. So much it should have just been New Jersey. Yeah, how been... close it is as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you're in New Jersey, but it's the smog and everything different. New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, just keep bragging on it. What do you think about Polly Shore and Michelle getting together at the end? I mean, it's a nice little nod to the pilot episode because that's how she dumps him in the first place. Pretty much she identical. Just goes off with yeah. someone else. With, she? Uh, what's his name? Constantine. I think yeah. his name is. I guess it kind of um, makes sense in this episode for like a 2000s person to hook up with another 2000s person because they can't understand, they can't really get with anything else. Paulie Shaw seems pretty unfazed about being <laughs> yeah, the that is true. He's just He's just like, yeah, I'm here for my thousandth anniversary yeah. screening of... Jury Duty 2? Jury Duty 2. Or whatever it's called. <laughs> whatever I, don't, it's I don't know. I didn't know there was a Jury Duty 1. I don't know what that movie yeah, is. Yeah, I think they intentionally picked the most obscure movie oh, okay. he's ever done. I, like a sequel to the most obscure, yeah. obscure yeah, movie yeah. he's ever Prop done. said he'll make fun of himself. He seems like a okay guy in terms of like knowing that he's not an A-lister. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's not yeah, afraid yeah. to be like, I'm uh, I'm silly. <laughs> I'm, I'm in this because it, my, sh- my movies are not the best movies. No, no, no. <laughs> there was also one deleted scene, which was just basically exploring the relationship of Fry and Michelle there on like an asteroid belt or something they're just in space and they're having a picnic out on just some rocks and he eats a slug salad sandwich which M- Michelle gets all nah about she's like yeah. ew future stuff and then she goes oh look uh, it's a it's a shooting star and Fry says shooting stars and then Michelle starts getting pelted with shooting stars in the face that's the same so same kind of she doesn't like the future yep just, yeah, just yeah, reinforcing yeah, yeah. that thing. the future is weird and wacky and, yeah, and Michelle and doesn't, doesn't, doesn't like, it. like it and it's affecting their relationship together and I know I just we got that yeah, we got yeah, it yeah, we don't yeah. need another scene no. which is why they deleted yeah, it we yeah, don't need yeah. half the scenes we have of it 
But we don't need Michelle. No. And if you're going to have Michelle, really focus on her trying to be like, uh, trying to adapt. I'll take her on a delivery. I know like he's fired, but work around that. Yeah, maybe back. maybe a bit more of attention of her. Yeah, so like, I'll show you the universe. It's actually not so bad after all. Turns out it's fucking awful. Let's go to the fantasy pl- planet. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Something, something, yeah, yeah, something yeah. more yeah. interesting. She's just, she's just so paper thin, like you don't, you don't care. give a shit about her. No. So yeah. Why, why? Yeah. yeah, it doesn't ask you to get invested. It's just like, look at this character. Ha ha, Jake Gags. Yeah. Yeah. You, you guys said this might be a reference, right? It's when Fry comes over the ridge of the hill and sees uh, civilization in yeah, the distance. And then he falls, and then down, he the falls down the hill and, and lands like, in his face. Flat. I swear mm. that's from something and, I've seen. But otherwise, if it's, if it doesn't make any reference. Yeah. Why is it there? Because I, I, I literally just went, you, you uh? visibly, as soon as it cut from the face plant to just him walking again, your reaction was like, huh? Huh? Yeah. What was that there for? I know what it is. It's but... almost like they cut something in between that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. So like, oh, this gag doesn't work. Just just leave it how it is. It's fine. <laughs> you could have just had him coming over the crest of the hill, right? You don't yeah, need him yeah. falling down it. It's not funny. Fry falling down. It's not even like particularly physical comedy. If it's not the only thing it's... remarkable about it is the bone crunching sounds are yeah. really extreme <laughs> <laughs> as he falls down. <laughs> it's like these... <laughs> <laughs> sounds as he was down, which vaguely tickled me. But I was just waiting for the gag. Yeah. I was waiting for the if gag. If it's not a reference to something then it's just a completely failed gag. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's yeah. on purpose. It's kind of telling that what interested me the most about this episode is wondering what it would have been like for the secondary characters on a different planet that we don't even get to see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, can we go back and see Hermes, please? This is boring. I would yeah. like that, you know? It would have been fun. I want to see, I want the side plot to that episode to see how Zoidberg adjusts to being the most popular person <laughs> in Planet Express. Being, being Planet Express's grandmother. Yeah, oh, yeah exactly. Really, like, maybe he learns that popularity is in all that's cracked. Up yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or he does, but the second everyone comes back, he just instantly is demoted. <laughs> like everyone just acts shit to him yeah. at the snap of a finger. He's like, oh. oh. Yeah. Right. I don't have anything yeah. else to say. No, yeah. we suspicious. I don't have anything else to say. No. Sorry. So, look, I just looked over my notes twice and I was like, yeah, nah. So nah. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we are pitting Mother's Day against Mother's Day. cryonic um, Mother's, Mother's Day. Yeah. So that was hard. I'm yeah. going to go for... <laughs> <laughs> look at my notes. Out of spite, I would go on this episode. <laughs> just to give it a... <laughs> no, no. That would make it season two's winner. It would. Yeah, yeah. congratulations. Oh, maybe Mother's I should Day. just make it the cryonic... War- no, no. So Mother's, it's Mother's Day. It's, so it's, but it's Mother's Day and Poplars uh, so this is my top three so oh, right. Mother's Day Poplars H Word I mean so far my three great episodes my favourite episode still so far is the season one winner which is When Aliens Attack yeah. um, which is Fry and TV yeah, yeah those ones are really great I mean I'll still go back to it's not like a, a great story but I'll still I'll still reference My Three Sons yeah it's it sounds like you're being really condescending yeah, yeah you know those were great no, those were good no, I mean you're wrong like, 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 those ones really like, like My Three Sons isn't as good as those ones, but I still think it's a it's a great early on. Oh, they're a team. They're on a delivery. Well written, well executed. Everything has a has a purpose. Yeah, I mean, when it was attacked for me, decide. it's just it's it's Futurama providing social commentary at yeah, its best. I yeah. feel it's like they took the idea of TV in general and just went, "Hey, let's show you how stupid it is," <laughs> and you're watching it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This makes Mother's Day officially the season two winner, and it goes into the bracket that we have yet to determine. Yes, so we have when aliens mm. attack and Mother's Day. Well, it's gonna be really fun. I would like to do sit down and watch all our the season winners, winners yeah, like yeah. in one. One session. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah, we should do kind of, and I'll be our recap extravaganza and be like four yeah. hours, four hours of podcast. <laughs> be great. We'll, we'll have to get we'll have to get Chris back for that because he has. Yeah, to, that'd be great. Yeah. Actually, let's do that. Yeah, boys. I mean, I'm. I mean, we don't have the best of luck with them, but I think no, Michelle. <laughs> She's so normal. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Just we're going back. Plain voice. When we get back to our hole, we're going to have a long, boring conversation about <laughs> our relationship. Um, like, how do you do? Stop, stop sticking up for yourself. Took my line. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Wait. Here, I'll just cheat. Yeah. <laughs> done done and done I would, I would have also accepted shaking and dropping a coffee shaking mug. and dropping stage directions stage she directions. really has nothing memorable to do in that episode no, no. It's a, you're right you know, you're right it's a waste of Sarah Silverman such a waste such a specific voice yeah. and character that yeah. you could utilise maybe she does a, nothing maybe that's memorable that's why they got her it's like okay the world's crazy maybe she will bring her in but she'll be normal we flipped everything Ooh. just get Mariah Carey <laughs> <laughs> oh no listen to our 10 minutes of talking about Mariah Carey previous to the recording yeah. to understand I'll just, I'll why I'll just release it no, he, he would be like this he'd be like um, oh do you want to go to the year 4000 my character wouldn't do that <laughs> <laughs> you would never leave me yes yeah, you, you wouldn't leave me you wouldn't talk like, back to yeah. me we can but I have, have to go in a sled you, you would have dug me a bigger hole <laughs> 
You, you, oh, you don't no. carry enough about me. Oh. And we're out. And yep. we're out. So, guys. <laughs> what's, next um, what's next time? So, guys, uh, if you <laughs> would like to join us next season, we'll be back for Amazon Women in the Mood. Oh, Snoo Snoo. Oh, snoo, snoo, snoo Snoo. Death that's by Snoo Snoo. Episode. Get some Snoo yeah, Snoo and some such a meme, Death by Snoo Snoo. <laughs> um, all the usual. If you want to chat to us, you babybeardmedia at gmail.com. Or find us on Instagram or Twitter. And, um,. I was going to say, five, five star rating reviews. So I was just giving you another bit of it. And then if you want to rate and review us, we were going in like a little circle. Oh, okay. and we were, yeah, we were doing it. a bit of the blurb and then uh, you just sat okay. there like a yeah, little Yeah, I was lemon. like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I, I, was, I was handballing it off to you without giving you much of a cue. Yeah, I thought you were so trying to like handball another like, um, social media and I'm like, you covered most you of the social media. You can't, social. Just uh, like rate and review. Yeah, rate and review and tell us what you think. Send us an email. Um, review yeah. well would be nice. Yeah, yeah <laughs> like, I mean, tell oh. us what you think if you liked it. Otherwise, just don't. You don't need like you don't need to say something mean. Yeah, I mean, my mother Who always, my mum always said, you know, if you don't have something nice yeah. to say, don't say anything. Although, at all. shout out to L Crack for that one star that mm, we got. Yep. L Crack Thank just you. should stop having a lot of crack. And yeah. You may have liked yeah. it a bit more. It's not. Uh, it's not a show to listen to on crack. Just, yeah. no. just an FYI. Say no to drugs. But yeah. um. Until then, I have been Sean. I've been Phil. I've been James. And don't do crack. <laughs> Unless you want to crack. In moderation. moderation. In moderation. Apparently How they're do you making do that? they're making, I believe, I think it might be an animated movie surrounding the song All I Want from Christmas for Christmas is You. That's her song. So they're making a movie uh, like around that song. Okay. Yeah. Because money. Because um, money. Yeah. Because everyone's gonna want to run out and see it. It's a pretty popular song, though. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't um, mean it's going to be a, a popular <laughs> movie. See movies? Yes. Um, seen Despicable Me 3 and Cars you? 3. Why? <laughs> Cars 3. I liked it. It's like Pixar's version of The Dark Knight Rises. Okay. It's like a legacy story and how being okay with not being great anymore and being yeah. past your prime and yeah. and kind of... Again, a really pertinent lesson for children. I know. Like it's <laughs> it's kind of... It was more a film for me. Yeah. Yeah. They learned their lesson. Your mic's pointed the wrong way, by the way. <laughs> there you go.